I'm George Dimopoulos at the Malaria Research Institute at the Johns Hopkins School of Public Health. And now we will show you a procedure on how to infect Anopheles gambia mosquitoes with Plasmodium falciparum parasites and how to determine the infection phenotype on the mosquito midgut. For this procedure, the basic equipment needed are we need a CO2 incubator for the parasite culture. Alternatively, if you don't have a CO2 incubator, you can use a candle jar. We also need an insectary, of course, uh, standard molecular biology and cell biology equipment such as dissection microscopes, light microscopes, uh, we need water baths, uh, we need a mosquito membrane feeder system and centrifuges. Um, Hi, my name is Shuchishmita Das, and I'm in the lab of Dr. George Dimopoulos. I'm a postdoc. My name is Lindsay Garver, and I'm a PhD student. The first step of the plasmodium infection is, is to have the plasmodium culture ready. If you don't have a carbon dioxide incubator, then you can have a candle, candle jar where you can put the six well plate having the gametocyte culture, then j light the candle, and then seal the jar. The first step is to have the human, fresh human blood and serum and put them at 37 in a water bath, first to thaw and also to have them like warm because you need really warm blood and warm serum. To prepare the blood, you need to aliquot 1 ml of the fresh human blood in an advent of. Yeah, the fresh blood has to be spun at 2000 rpm for 5 minutes to pellet down the erythrocytes. After the screen